this video, we are going to talk about reflection options for our pattern. So a lot of times when you're creating a pattern physically, you only create half of it or you cut half of your pattern and then you reflect it to the other side to have a symmetric pattern. And you can do that same technique in Clo, and we're going to show you today how you can do that. So I already have half my pattern here sewn um, together. You can see the threads, also the front pattern created here, half of it, and then the back half here. And I need to reflect this pattern so that I have a full pattern and I want it to be symmetric. And there's a couple of different ways that we can do that. So first I'm going to make sure that I'm in the transform pattern tool in our 2D toolbar, which is that fill in triangle with the cursor next to it. And I'm just going to select the pieces that I want to reflect. I'm just going to start with the front. And once I do that, I'm going to right click and then underneath clone pattern with linked editing, you'll see a couple of different options. The first one is symmetric pattern with sewing. This is going to reflect our pattern and it's going to have linked editing. So if I make one side shorter, it will also make the other side shorter and it's also going to include sewing. Or if I don't want it to include sewing, I can choose symmetric pattern. So we'll do that. I'll do the with sewing first. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I get it attached to my mouse right here and I can just click to place it. And you always wanna place it about where it will go based on this avatar silhouette. So now that half of the pattern is placed and you can see we have our full front pattern. The sewing inside of those two patterns is already done because I did choose symmetric pattern with sewing. So I will still need to sew the center front and the side seams together. But then I'll show you the other option too with our back pattern pieces. So I'm gonna select those back pattern pieces and right click. And this time I'm just going to choose symmetric pattern underneath clone pattern with linked editing instead of symmetric pattern with sewing. Then I will place those and they get placed there too. And so now if I go in and edit my sewing on the back, going to the edit sewing tool, you'll see that it's only editing the sewing on one side. So the pattern is still symmetric and linked, but the sewing is only linked on the front where I chose symmetric pattern with sewing. And we can tell that these are symmetric patterns um, with linked editing, because if I were to go to one of our pattern editing tools and adjust any part of this pattern, you can see it edits the other side also. So I'm gonna click Command Z to just undo both of those a couple times. And I'm actually just going to go in and delete this half of the front so I can show you some other reflection options too. So I'm gonna highlight that front pattern piece again and right click. And then underneath, um, Inst underneath clone pattern with linked editing, we also have instance pattern. This is where I can copy the pattern, but it's not going to reflect it. So if I wanted to duplicate my pattern, then I could do that. And these would still be linked too. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete those also. And then copy these again, right click. And another option that we can do is selecting them. And then we can copy. And you can just choose Command C on your keyboard to copy if you wanted to, or you could go into the right click menu and do this. And then I would right click again, and I could choose mirror paste, and that would reflect them, but it wouldn't have the linked editing. So if I wanted the pattern to start out symmetric, but then maybe I wanted to go in and make it unsymmetric or make some adjustments to only one side, then this would be the technique that I'd want to use because it's not linked. So I'm gonna click Command Z to take me back. And then one other option that I have too, is if I wanted to completely start with a symmetric pattern from the very beginning, then I have this option too. And I'm actually just gonna delete this front pattern right here and go into my polygon pattern creation tool and show you how we can do this. So one way is you could just begin drawing a pattern like normal and you can see this is 
not symmetric because I'm only drawing half of it right now. And you could continue on and close your shape and have it just be half the pattern and then use that same technique that I just showed you. But if you wanted to draw it while it was um, reflected, instead of left clicking like I normally would, I could right click. And this is where we get our pop-up menu where I could type in specific dimensions if I wanted my seam or my pattern edge to be a specific dimension but I can also turn on mirror creation. So I'm gonna turn that on and you'll need to make sure you select the correct axis because right now it's on the local axis. So it's basing it off of um, my pattern shape, but I could choose to reflect on the across the X axis or to have it reflected across the Y axis too, which is the one that I want. So I'm gonna choose okay. And now you'll see as I'm drawing my pattern it's drawing on both sides at the same time. And all I need to do just like normal is close my shape to complete it. And now this pattern is symmetric also, which I can tell because this dotted line down the center, um, that blue and light blue means that it is symmetric. So I could go in, I can make some adjustments and it would adjust both sides. If I ever drew only half a pattern, um, I could always also do this later. So I'm just going to quickly just draw a shape right here, just for an example. And so I have this half pattern shape right here. If I wanted to um, also reflect it. Another option that I have is on this center front line or center line, going to our edit pattern tool and right clicking on that line. I can choose um, unfold. This would unfold it and it would be reflected, but no linked editing. I'm going to click command Z. I can also unfold um, with symmetric editing with sewing. So now it's unfolded and it is symmetric too. You can see they're both being edited at the same time. I'm gonna click Command Z again to get us back to that half. And then um, I'm also, I also have the option to unfold pattern outline only. So we only have a pattern outline here, but this could be something you could use if you had internal lines or baselines inside of your pattern. Then you didn't want them to be reflected, you wanted the pattern outline only. And so those are a couple of different options. Um, but say, for example, we do unfold with symmetric sewing and, sy and symmetric editing. If I ever wanted the so symmetric editing to go away, I can always double click on the center line and click delete. And now that symmetric editing is gone. So you have a couple of different options here that you can do to reflect your pattern, link it with symmetric editing and sewing. Um, but all of them can get you to the same place. If you wanted to, you could choose any of these options to use. It's kind of a personal preference on what you prefer. Um, but last, if you do use one of those first techniques that I was showing you, the right click and clone pattern with linked editing, it does make it two separate pattern pieces. Whereas you notice the second strategy I was showing you does make it one pattern piece with no seam down the middle. But if you ever wanted to use the first strategy and you didn't want that seam in the middle, you can always make sure you're in the edit pattern tool, right click on that seam. And if this is a pattern with um, symmetric editing and a seam that is the same on the other side, you can always choose merge right here. And that will merge those two patterns. So now that is one pattern piece with a no seam down the middle. Once I have a pattern that has linked editing or symmetric sewing, I can always remove that symmetry by either deleting the dotted line down the center of the pattern if it's one single pattern piece, or if it's a pattern that I reflected, I can always click on those pattern pieces for half of the pattern, right click, and then I can always choose remove linked editing in the right click menu. And then when I go in and test this out, my patterns are no longer symmetric.